One, I did not insult him by calling him stupid. I, it was actu it's actually his name. Number two, mm -hmm. I'm sorry I didn't know the young man. Okay. Guys, I am a group here, I am nameless, Saudi Soul, Isa, Wikimosh, Makadem, Jabali Africa. I'm not a Gen Z, as you guys can see. My firstborn is 14 years. Yeah. Guys, I'm clearly not a young man. Yeah. So you are apologizing to Stuart? I am not apologizing. Yeah. And I repeat again, I said it live on Dr. Vail tonight, mm. I am not apologizing for anything our beautiful channels here and today we have these amazing gentlemen tamita gentlemen because he is oh, yeah. dr Fuenike. the eagle himself okay the duke okay. of kakabega uh -huh. dr Fuenike is my name yes thank you so much you're here for the fundraiser of uh, saint martin yes 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 talk to us about that and also tell us about your relationship with chipukiz um first of all we're here because we are the generation that we were told about the captain telling us the future is tomorrow, the future is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Finally, tomorrow is here. Yeah. Tomorrow is arrived. Yeah. And we're here because we are joining up together in terms of changing the society. Mm -hmm. Not only by just making guys laugh, yeah. by using our brands, our names, and what we've been able to achieve in the past. Yeah. Yeah. And I think um, there's a certain group of comedians or creatives who, uh, during our growing up in the industry, mm -hmm. our aim at that time was to grow a brand. Yeah. From growing the brand was to now bring in finances, mm -hmm. uh, live a good life, yeah. all right? Mm -hmm. Live like Kevin Hart and the likes of Dave Chappelle and Steve Harvey. Mm -hmm. And now that we have done that, now we're at a place where we want to now give back to the society. Sure. A man is not a man if he doesn't learn the art of giving. Mm -hmm. And especially if giving doesn't have to be monetary alone. It means in terms of services, in terms of um, kindness, mm -hmm. in terms of just standing the society, in terms of just making an impact into the society. And that is what uh, we are joining up to, to, uh, to do. Mm -hmm. And that is why we're here for the fundraising. Mm -hmm. My relationship with Chipkizi, um, to be honest, uh, I think there are very few photos of Dr. Feneke hanging around with celebrities. And also it's because um, uh, in terms of my personality, I am not very good with the clique mentality. I'm, very, I'm not very good with mob psychology. Okay. I work on my own. I think on my own. I do things on my own. So if you see somebody that is really close to Dr. Fennick, or Dr. Fennick is close to somebody, vice versa, yeah. it means there must be something special about them. Yeah. Others I have, I can afford all movie avenues in my house. I'd rather sit in my house and, and, and watch a movie mm -hmm. rather than be found in a, in a council of those who do not think about development mm -hmm. and are changing the society and changing the world. Mm -hmm. So Chip Kiz is an amazing gentleman. We've been friends ever since we started the industry together, almost 15, 16 years ago. Yeah. We have gone through so much together. We have looked poor together, and now we look rich together. Yeah. We are among the first very few stand-up comedians who made it, to, who started doing shows uh, within Africa and even going to the US and Europe. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing I know for sure is, is that uh, God has placed uh, a burden in, in his heart. God has placed a passion in his heart for the people of Tala, and this is just the beginning. And uh, I am here to pledge my support as a brother that I'm going to stand with him till the end to make sure that whatever vision, whatever passion he's trying to drive, it gets uh, to, uh, it's get to, be, uh, to be achieved. So he's a good man, and uh, I'm not only just here physically, but I'm also here praying for him spiritually and standing by him spiritually. A friend is not a friend if they cannot tell God about something about you. It's, also, it's just not about people discussing your name in WhatsApp groups and trending topics. It's about that get a friend who can actually talk to God about you. So yes, I do talk to God about Chip Kizzi. And I pray that this ground that you're stepping in, this shall be the least of how it's looking like. God shall take us from one level to another. That's the plan. Okay. Yes. It's a fundraiser. Yes. What are you expecting? One, I'm expecting money. <laughs> I mean, let's just go for it. Roughly. Well, if you can, if you can, enough is never enough. Yeah. If you can do one branch here, the other corner of Tala, the other corner of Tala. Yeah. What I'm telling God that the that are coming. Yeah. Please do not come here to enjoy uh, how how fast your car can be yeah. and how your air conditioner works. Yeah. If you're coming here, it is money that we want. Yeah. All right. Not money about interviews and everything. It's money for helping people. Yes. All right? Yes. So we are waiting. So all the Westminster that are coming, we're expecting to raise, I think uh, the target should be around 100 million. And we're expecting by end of today. There should be a, there should be a security car here that is willing to carry around 100 million. That is the plan. Because at the end of the day, it's not about us. God has blessed us. We have made the money. It's about what change do we impact into the Our to you know, Kwapa Numa, our to you on dreams and ambitions. One on a Fueneke, one on a Chipkiz, one on a Butita, one on a Nani. 
their dream is to one day become, drive and look like some of us. Yeah. So we are here to make sure that those dreams and ambitions come true. Mm -hmm. Yes. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Tunakujua sana kama comedian and uh, I don't go by the title of comedian anymore. I, I, I am a not a comedian. MC. Yeah, so please by the way, uh, it's important <laughs> that this one is said. Yes. That started starting from January 1st, 2024. Yeah. I no longer go by the term comedian. I am not a comedian. Yeah. I've left comedy to my our young brothers and yeah. sisters. Yeah. Let them build their brands. Mm -hmm. Now, Dr. Foneke is an event host, a TV host, a radio host, an author, a business strategist, and a brand analyst. Apart from that one, what's that secret that people don't know about you? Because we hear you talking about prophecies and God alone. So, oh, by the way, I'm going to celebrate Adam. I'm going to say that media. Muli sema story, a stupid boy, a trend. You guys didn't know to say that Dr. Foneke is officially saved. One month sober, and I'm deeply sold out for Christ. Right now, my next gen is just spreading the word of God. Wow. So please also, also please make sure you also say about that. Yes. Yes. That I'm yes. saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. And you okay. prophesy. And I prophesy as well. Amen. Right? Okay. So right now, it's not a joke. Now, we have to say that it's a joke. I'm going to say that I'm going to say power banks and Wi-Fi password. And I'm going to say that I'm going so because, let me tell you, God is raising a new generation. Yeah, yeah. And from now on, as we're not just preaching the gospel on the pulpit. Mm -hmm. God is setting his remnants and his army and his soldiers mm -hmm. in different areas of the world. The, the book of Revelation calls them the seven mountains. Mm -hmm. So, utapata media, kuna kino foneke wa ya God. Utapata kwa banking masiyo wa banks na finances, uko ni watu wa God. So, we're not even joking about this anymore. Mm -hmm. So, as you guys are training about, uh, making me train about... Uh, the other issue. Mm -hmm. Please also make it trend that uh, I don't do, I don't deal in drugs anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't drink anymore. Mm -hmm. I am very sober. Amazing. And the vision and the ambition right now mm -hmm. is the heaven is the goal. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to heaven alone. Yeah. I am going to heaven with people. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you very much. By the look of things, do you yeah. think these are the last days? Do you still? Like yeah. Oh yes. oh yes. Oh yes. Oh mm -hmm. yes. Oh yes. Don't ever, do began. not, do not ever be mistaken about it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, something is happening in the spiritual realm. Yeah. Yeah. Whether you deny it or not, yeah. whether you go confound to TikTok, uh, TikTok video or about denying Jesus and his existence, yeah. that's your own. I normally tell, and I'm, I'm talking to the Gen Z, mm -hmm. because somehow Gen Z have become Mr. Know-it-all. Mm -hmm. Gen Z cannot be told anything. Yeah. They know everything. But I'll tell you this. Yeah. You'd rather live as if there's a God, only to find out that there's no God, rather than live like there's no God, only to find out that there's a God. Sure. That's the plan. Yes. Okay, Funike, since you are talking about trending, you are talking about trending. Yes. You are talking about trending. Yes. A <laughs> uh, stupid boy. Yes. Uh, said First that of all, guys actually thought I was insulting him. Let's start from there. But uh, you know that I didn't know that is his name. I, I know I also I also came to know that is his name. Yeah. So it's not like I was insulting him. I need because I think it's time for the first time for us to make some things very clear. Okay. One, I did not insult him by calling him stupid. I, it was actually it's actually his name. Uh, yeah. Number two, mm -hmm. I'm sorry I didn't know the young man. Okay. Guys, mimi ni group ya kina mimi ni era kina nameless. Sauti Soul, mm -hmm. Isa, Wikimosh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Makadem, mm -hmm. eh, Jabali Africa. Mimi ni, I'm not a Gen Z, as you guys can see. My first born is 14 years. Yeah. Guys, I'm clearly not a young man. Yeah. So you apologizing to students? I am not apologizing. Yeah. And I repeat again, I said it live on Dr. Vail tonight. Mm -hmm. I am not apologizing for anything. What I can only offer is that the issue is bigger than what we are seeing. Mm -hmm. All right? We are seeing an issue of our young men in the ghetto and in the village who are talented, doing amazing, and they're being taken advantage of either by the big brands who are coming to do collabs with them mm -hmm. and enjoying YouTube views and enjoying shows and letting the upcoming artists suffer deep down in the village and in the ghetto. All right? So Dr. Foneke was an excuse. But the issue is bigger than what we think. Our, these guys, and I want to call out, and I want to say this uh, point blank. A stupid boy and uh, the rest of uh, Wasani Waghetto. They're representing the pain and the disappointment that the industry has shown. All right? I want to go on that we come on that good life. And that we seek to equal na YouTube views. But apart party shows, is all those MCSK as well. So I understand why they would insist on calling, uh, on insisting on being paid for an interview. But the truth be told is there's no media house in Kenya that has a budget to pay anyone for an interview. Let us not lie to ourselves. It has never happened, it is not happening, and it will not happen in the future. Number two, the media and the creative are a team. It's about working together, all right? Maybe I would have gained one, one, one new uh, viewer 
on Dr. Fanny tonight through Stupid Boy. And maybe he would have gotten three endorsements from my show. You get? But when you have our artists who are disgruntled, they are sad, disappointed about them not receiving the instant financial gratification as expected, then we expect that kind of a reaction. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So it is, I am not apologizing because there's nothing for Dr. Fenneke to apologize about. Yeah. The only thing I'm saying is point blank. All right? And the good thing is to really put your fasting. And I thank God for it. Wow. I was deep into fasting. Look at Muliman in bad. This is what I'll say. I am offering one, you're not even offering. Yeah. I am looking for a stupid boy that I can implement lunch. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I want to have lunch with him. Yeah. And if he can come with the whole Gota City, the better. Yeah. Alright? Yeah. I will not pay him for my interview. Again, I repeat. Yeah. But I will pay for the lunch. Yeah. I might even probably pay for his fare back and forth. Yeah. Number three, I want to invest in the mentorship yeah, sure. of the wow. artists wow. of the ghetto. Amazing. That is what God was speaking to me about this situation. Okay. Alright? But I'm, I, please let it be clear. Yeah. I only apologize when I have done wrong. There's no